Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Linux Academy. So guys, we are in this particular video, we are going to learn about the introduction of the hydraulic turbines, how this particular hydraulic turbine like works during the production of the electricity, and this in this particular production of the electricity process, which occurred in hydraulic tree power stations, like there are tanks which can be called as the surge tanks. So why these surge tanks are used? So in this particular video. We are going to learn the actual like the working of the hydroelectric power stations alongside with that like how, how this particular like uh, huge like surge tanks are used that is why what is the necessity of the surge tank we are going to cover in this particular video so guys if you are new over here on my education channel in genus academy please do consider subscribing and please press the bell icon so, so guys without wasting any time let's begin with our first topic of this introduction of the hydraulic turbines and the necessity of the surge tank so guys when we talk about the turbines basically so like the first thing which comes in our mind is the rotating uh, impulse turbine or the rotating Pelton wheel turbine so in this particular turbine gets connected to the or else it is coupled to the generator and this particular generator ultimately converts the mechanical energy from that particular turbine into the electrical one so means ultimately the output is the electrical energy and this particular electricity is extracted from this hydroelectric power station so guys over here you can see this is the overall representation of the hydroelectric power station into which the rain water is collected at the reservoir and the reservoir is at a higher elevation so basically over here the water is collected at the higher elevation like we can call it as the over here the head is maintained like the potential head is maintained so over here the potential head is of 50 to 2500 meters so you can imagine the potential head over here so like the more the potential head and the more the quantity of the water so ultimately these two factors results while deciding the capacity of the hydroelectric power plant so like let's understand the like what are the few factors of this hydroelectric power plant so first of all the reservoir the water is the rainwater is collected at the reservoir the, in the inside that particular reservoir there is a particular like a gangway or else like a particular a section which is having some sort of the tunnels through it and from this particular tunnels the water is gets passed through that particular slope over here you can see that over here this is the slope this particular slope is called as the penstock and the, like the tunnels which are there this particular tunnels is called as the four bays so what happens inside that particular tunnel like the water is stored at the higher elevation higher potential head it means water is having higher potential energy across it when this particular water like it is having a smaller outlet at the bottom the more of the water which flows down with the higher of the velocity like the potential energy gets converted into the uh, kinetic one so over here we are getting the more of the velocity and the more of the pressure at the bottom so the, this particular holes or as the four ways will reduce the ultimately the hammer or as the it will reduce the flow basically it will act as a flow regulator it will act as a flow controlling uh, system basically these four ways and the water will flow across the holes inside the four ways across the tunnels via this penstock so we are the penstock is nothing but the slanting so we are the slope is provided as you can see over here in this particular image this particular like uh, the water is like flows through the penstock at the end of the penstock there is a nozzle so this particular nozzle via this particular nozzle the water comes out with a higher velocity and a higher pressure and it will ultimately hit the uh, bucket of this Pelton wheel and ultimately it will uh, impart a force on the Pelton wheel and it will try to rotate that particular Pelton wheel it will try to rotate the blade of the turbine and ultimately the generator the shaft of the generator will also rotate and it will produces the electricity so this is the actual working and the production of the electricity via this hydroelectric power station the water is collected at the tail race and this particular water is used for the irrigation purposes later on 
in certain cases in certain reservoir dams like the four, four bays the manufacturing of the four bays and means like there is no provision to make a four bay over there like there is no there are no provision to make those tunnels so in that particular section like us uh, like uh, the surge tanks are used in that particular scenario the surge tanks are used so the function of this particular surge tank is very similar to that of the four bays whenever the higher flow of the water comes out from that particular higher elevation the first the water will get stored inside the surge tank it will reduces its flow and then that particular water is allowed to go across the penstock and ultimately it will hit the turbine or else we can say that this particular uh, surge tank is also like acts as a regulator flow regulator basically whenever the load on the turbine decreases like this particular surge tank is used so it will ultimately reduces the water hammer suppose if there is no surge tank in this particular scenario like the water is allowed to flow directly from the penstock ultimately it will damage the penstock due to the vibrations due to the water hammer and also it will increase the load on the turbine also so ultimately there is a there are chances so that it, the blades of the turbine could get damaged over here in this particular scenario so this is the reason the flow regulation is very much important and that particular flow regulation this particular surge tanks are used so this is the necessity of the surge tank so guys over here in this particular video we have seen the two important points like the how this particular hydroelectric power plant works and what is the necessity of the surge tank that we have seen over here in this particular video so guys i hope you like my video if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video